good morning and uh, welcome to our pastime. It's a different kind of video this time. I'm sitting in my new F-150, quote unquote new. It's uh, actually a 2018 that I picked up at a local dealership and uh, it's a higher end model. It's the Lariat version of the F-150 and it came completely loaded. Um, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for in a truck, but um, the price was right and it came with the minimal amount of options I was looking for. It already had. Um, I was looking for a uh, locking differential and the V8 and that's what I was starting with. And I also wanted the longer bed, uh, the pickup bed. And that's what this package had. And then, of course, it was a Lariat, so it has a few more uh, features that I wasn't necessarily looking for. But, hey, it has it, so I'll enjoy them, I guess. So, uh, I thought I would start by showing you, or introducing you, to the F-150 that I have now, here at our pastime. Um, but before I do that, it's a great time for you to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, um, at the end of the video or when you finish watching, please comment, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Uh, also maybe what else you want to know about the F-150 that I don't cover in this video. It's probably going to be a quick video. Um, every, there's lots of F-150 videos out there. Um, so, but I'll just give you a quick overview of what, um, features are on this F-150 and what my thoughts of the thoughts are of it so far um, so let's uh, look at it together and see what it has and we'll do that right now so first let's start by starting it up it has a key fob it has a um, remote start tailgate release and a panic button pretty standard so Start it up. And as you can see, it has navigation. Let's turn the volume down and the fan down. So this has navigation and all the bells and whistles, all the options I guess you could want. Um, it's in four high right now because the driveway is icy. It has trailer backup assist and here's the uh, locking differential. You just pull this out to lock your differential. Um, it has different, different drive modes. Not you get more drive modes if you had the um, FX4 version. Um, this just has the standard four-wheel drive package. There's no skid plates or anything on it. Anyway, the Type I drive and I do don't doesn't require the FX4 package, which is another I don't know twelve hundred dollars. Um, certainly, if it this truck had come with it, I wouldn't have been disappointed, but. Um, Anyway, so anyway, we got the uh, the backup, the trailer backup, and then under here is the brake control. And it, just by touching that, it says trailer disconnected. <laughs> so it's pretty smart. It's a smart truck, almost like a smart phone. But it. Uh, so let's see. We got for controls. We got audio, climate, phone, and all that stuff right at your fingertips. And it does have the snowplow package. All that does is when you press that button, um, it disconnects some of the electronics. The auto stop start feature can be disabled, but you have to do that every single time you uh, start the truck. Uh, this truck has um, blind side warnings. Um, it has, let's see. It has a, I don't know if it will show, let's see, yeah, we have a sunroof, and up 
here, we actually have a, like a little console. That's where you control the opening the roof and the rear window is right here. Um, the power rear window, place for your sunglasses or your set of keys, whatever you want to use that for. This truck also has fog lights and a pair of auxiliary lights that the previous owner installed. This truck has just over um, 34,000 miles on it, so it's just broken in. It's got leather seats. I put new floor mats in it. I may show you a video about installing those wasn't too hard but again let me know in the comments what you want to know about this truck um, it's a pretty neat little truck first full-size truck I've owned Let's see if you can see the different drive modes so here are the different drive modes we've got uh, normal tow haul snow and wet eco and sport and there are subtle differences between each of those first three or first four and the sport mode is the most noticeable difference that really gives seems to give you it holds the gears a lot longer makes you feel like you got a lot more power and right now it just dropped to 18.3 for my average miles per gallon that's just normal driving around has power foldable mirrors found that out by hitting that button accidentally the other day has three position memory the button down here for th three different drivers you can, it's hard to see but they're oh, the door they're three different positions. You can it will set your mirror position. Each one of those has a mirror position, seat is position, and I believe the steering wheel position. Uh, depending on which button you press, it remembers what position that driver likes or prefers and automatically sets it when you press one of those buttons. Yes, this truck is a four-door, and there is so much room behind my seating position. There's, uh, I have about 12 inches behind the seat and then my knees. Uh, in this truck, uh, so there's lots of rear leg room. It's almost like a limousine, I think. It's uh, quite a bit of leg room. This truck has leather seats. Um, Honestly, I've been keeping the rear seats up and using this more as a cargo area because uh, when I go over the road, I put all my uh, necessities in the back and it works really well rather than putting them in the pickup bed. Uh, it's a lot easier to put everything um, in the back here and just uh, load from here. So, um, not much back here. There is power. Um, let's see, we've, we have USB ports and uh, 400 watts of uh, AC power and a cigarette lighter. So, and there is rear heat, speakers, and lighting. But other than that, it's pretty basic. And I think there is a pull down armrest. It looks like a cup holders too. So, and there are cup holders right directly underneath the camera. So it's not bad. It's like there used to be a longer antenna on the truck. Hmm. Just found that. See, I find something new about the truck all the time.
So I think right now I'll go out and give you an, a run around of the truck, outside view of the truck. Last car wash I did went through did not do a good job, so I apologize for the film that you might see on it. There's the blind spot radar. This does have the step bumper. handle to help get up inside. Huh. That happened before. Hold on a minute. I don't think that's a feature, but that little top comes off for easy cleaning, maybe. And it is, there's no, uh, doesn't go back up automatically, close it. Has a tonneau cover. As you can see, my driveway is just ice right now. Uh, that's just a quick overview of the truck. Um, I guess the previous shot, I didn't show the whole uh, overview. The whole uh, sunroof wasn't open. Now you can kind of tell that it is. Um, I appreciate you watching this video. Let me know what else you want to know about the truck. I can try to share it with you on the next video. Next video will probably feature some unique features that I've found out about this truck. Uh, some things I like, some things I don't like. And some things that surprised me about the truck. And I will share those with you next time here at our pastime. And I appreciate you watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Let me know what else you want to see about this truck and or you can also let me know what else you want to see on my channel as far as um, my Farmall tractors or my John Deere tractor. Um, I have another tractor that I'm thinking about getting back into service. It's just another lawn tractor type that I, my original lawn tractor that I've had since 1994 that I bought brand new from Sam's Club. Um, that one I believe is still serviceable and has been taking up space in my cellar. So I want to get that going, get that out of here. I have two vehicles that I will be getting rid of. Um, you've seen those in the background of some of my videos just sitting off to the side. Those will be disappearing soon. Uh, I've got a big project coming up this spring after the thaw that I want to try to film. I may have to have my son do that if it happens when I'm out on the road. So there are a few videos coming up on this channel that uh, may be interesting and I hope that you'll stick around and come back and uh, uh, have a chance to watch those. So in order to do that though you need to subscribe 
I would appreciate it if you would. So that's pretty easy to do just by hitting the button and hitting the uh, bell notification. That's always good to do. Then you'll be notified when the video is loaded onto the channel. So, uh, hopefully, you'll stick around, subscribe, leave a comment, and catch me again next time. Uh, thanks for watching, and I appreciate you joining me. So, we'll catch you again. Thanks for watching. See ya.